What's up guys? Brad the Chad here. Today, I need- I'm out for blood, baby. I'm out for fucking blood. I mean, vampires need blood to survive. The way I see it, it's either this method or uh, sticking some needles in some chick's arms. This is a bit more humane. I got camera cam with me today. What's up, buddy? What's How you up, doing? Dude? Need a tampon? Good. Can you tampon? I think so, actually. Alright. Watch Brad the Chad. Hi, yes, sir. How's it going? We're actually, uh, I'm not trick or treating today. I'm actually, uh, coming with, uh, gifts of my own, actually. <laughs> Hiya, ma'am. I see you in the back there. I was just, uh, I'm a vampire, obviously. Just collecting blood today. <laughs> if you'd like a, a free tampon. Oh, thank you very much. We'll do a trade. We'll do a trade. Here you go. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Absolutely, hey, absolutely I, brilliant. It's either this or, like, sticking a needle in chick's arms. You know, I've got to get my blood some way. So, this is the most humane way to go about it. I'd keep your distance from me, man. My chompers are a little crazy right now. I'm really out for blood, and uh, I'm getting a little desperate, so I've resorted to uh, tampon handouts. I don't know if I could just give you this tampon, come back in one, two, three hours, collect it. We can never bring it back up. No, it's okay. I don't need anything. Oh, okay. So what you're telling me is it's kind of past your time. I think so. Maybe someone else in the house. No. Maybe. Okay. Anyone in the house who needs a tampon? No. No. Sir, do you need a tampon? No. <laughs> oh, I got two bags. Would you like a tampon, ma'am? No, thank you. All right. Take a step back, ma'am, because uh, I'm a little bit unpredictable right now. I'm a little bit thirsty for blood, and uh, I've kind of stooped a little low. I'm doing tampon handouts. Maybe I could come back and, ma'am, I'm getting real hungry for blood. Oh, come on, ma'am. The neighborhood's at risk right now. That's Why are there oranges on the floor? Right. Well, that's we left them there for kids. They they're like the they're ch- like little miniature pumpkins. Okay. They're taking the chocolate. So. Oh, so you left them oranges. Yeah. Would you All right. Some chocolate? You know what? Yeah, I'd love some chocolate. I would really appreciate oh. that right now. <laughs> what better to have when you're on your period than a piece of chocolate? Thank you very much, man. Would you like one anyway? Just to a memento, you know, you met a vampire. Crazy shit. It's all right, thank you. All right, sweetheart. Bye. See you around. Hi, how you doing, guys? Good. I'm actually not trick or treating, but uh. A piece of candy would be yeah. great anyway. I just wanted to ask you about this yeah. pumpkin. I don't know if this is like some kind of brothel. Uh, so look, if you have a look, if you just come around, so it's like a penis. And I, I, my, you know, how I put it together in my head, I thought maybe the penis served as an arrow. Like, come here to get your dick sucked. Oh my god, of course. I thought it was like a brothel or some shit. Oh my god, of course. No, that was my brother. My that was your brother? Yes. Yeah, Oh, your brother's running some kind of brothel operation here. One of your younger sons, actually, I believe he's running like a brothel in your house, from your house. Okay. I don't know, I'm just as confused as you are. I came here, maybe not so much looking for candy, but more to, you know, get it on. (laughs) You need to get that brother of yours under control, eh? Alright, guys. Bye. Uh, I'm actually not trick-or-treating. Oh. Yeah, I'm actually a little bit upset. Oh. There's an anti-Semitic pumpkin on your driveway. I'm actually a Jew, and uh, I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about this. You just want to come take a look. Someone, I don't know if you thought it was funny, or like if you have a son, but it's clearly a swastika carved into a pumpkin. I didn't put that there. Are you sure? Yeah. Huh, all right, because you've got the blonde hair and the white skin. I don't know, maybe it's like a neo-Nazi thing. No, I think you need to go oh. home. Right. Yeah. Ah. Mein Führer, you win today! You win today, Mein Führer! Brad the Chad here. You're probably wondering, Chad, where's your vampire costume? I thought this was the Halloween video, Brad. It is the Halloween video viewer. But the problem is, as soon as the clock struck like seven or eight, people just stopped answering the fucking door. And I think that's really some bullshit. I mean, it was Halloween. Just answer the fucking door. It's 7 p.m. Whatever. 
Today, cameraman, you can pan the camera at that big piece of brick right there. That's the South Hill Mansion. That place is haunted as fuck. In fact, it's probably the most haunted place in Bracknell that comes off the top of my head. So uh, we're going to go in there and talk ghost stories. I've got a few of my own, personally. And uh, we're going to see if anyone has some that they want to share. Keep watching. Bride the Chad. Hiya. Chad versus ghost here. You're probably familiar with us. We're ghost hunters. Come on, there's not even any, there's, there's not even any clients in the building. No, I, don't, I don't see much work being done, ma'am. All I see is you looking pretty. Hi, you guys. This, I'm actually running a YouTube channel called Chad vs. Ghosts. We're ghost hunters. I'm sure you guys know about the uh, history of hauntings in the South Hill Mansion. We were wondering if you had any spooky, scary stories uh, from your past perhaps you want to share and make it onto the channel. I mean, I have millions of subs from hunting these ghosts, so you will be a uh, real star. No. None. I've never oh, I have it. What about when you look in the mirror in the morning? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. You're actually a stunning woman. Uh, so, so what about you? Um, the only story I can say is that I remember uh, walking back to my home in Crowthorn, walking down the road, and I saw this like shadowy figure, like in grey. It was like a, it looked like a shape of a, a woman, and just walking across the street. And I wasn't sure if it's my imagination or not, but it just seemed to float across um, in front of me and, walk, and going up the driveway. That was actually a uh, African American man looking to sexually assault you. <laughs> it might be. I don't it know. might have been. It might have been. I'm not sure. Yeah. So uh, that was a pretty interesting story, actually. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's, the only one I, that's the only vivid one I can remember. The only yeah. vivid. All right. So there might be more from the childhood that you know you've yeah, blanked out a little bit. I, I could tell you that I believe I had an angel that came to me once. Oh, uh, really? Definitely. Yeah. I've had an angel come to me. You had an angel. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, I, I was stuck in the country. Actually, Sue and I were in the country at about one in the morning. The mo forty years ago. Forty years ago. All right. Oh, it, well, was it? Oh, could have been there. Well, well, it could have been. The years are all a blur uh, at this uh, point. Uh, yeah. we, we were lost without a hope. This car broken down. Yeah. And um, we, we prayed a prayer. Please God help us. And then a man came in a car, stopped, got out, went. Where, he said. Lift up the bonnet. Let's have a look at the, the engine. Because the, the, I think the car was on fire. We Smoke. Were in the middle of nowhere. That was the problem. Yeah. This is we very were bizarre. In, we uh, were in Wales. And you know what it's like in, in those country roads in no, Wales? Very cold and barren. We, we, we were in the middle of nowhere. We, and this man just appeared. Yeah. Um, look, he said, I've come to help you. Yeah. And he opened up the bonnet, fiddled around. Um, yeah. And he said, oh, that should be okay. He closed the bonnet. We turned round to say, oh, thank you ever so much, and he'd gone. Okay, and where does the angel come into play, guys? I thought you guys saw an angel. Yeah, yeah. Because it says in, the, in Psalms that the, the Lord sends his angels to take charge over you. So what you're telling me is that a random good Samaritan came up, fixed you with your bonnet, and now you think it's an angel? I'm a ghost hunter and I think this is absurd. In disguise. Yeah. Disguise. Like a Halloween costume, maybe. Do you see... Listen, listen, I'm a ghost hunter, right? I'm used to people shutting me down, but you see how far-fetched this is, right? The, the, uh, actually, this has happened to me on more than one occasion. People helped you on more than one occasion. I, well, well, I prayed a prayer, please help us God, because I'm a Christian, committed Christian. Please God, help me. In this First of all, respect. Uh, uh, respect for the Christian stuff. Seriously. Uh, uh, this, uh, two or three times this has happened to me. Um, and, this, uh, and someone's come yeah. out of the blue and, and just sorted it out. And I believe he was sent by God. Yeah. Um, I suppose it could have been a human man. I've actually got a story with an angel of my own, actually. Uh, I'm a little, you know, I, 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 it's very personal to me. I, we're both Christians, obviously, and I wasn't sure if I was going to share this, but actually your story has inspired me. I one time went to a massage parlor, and I was just looking to get my back rubbed, maybe my neck cracked, and when we finished up, the, the little Asian masseuse, she went straight for my buckle, and in that moment, I knew that an angel had come down from the heavens, just a godsend, a complete godsend, and I did get my, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, so that was my experience with an angel. Okay, are, are you English? Uh, that's a bit personal. Is, is, no, it's a, 
it, it, it sounds to me your accent's not real American. No, no, so I'm actually half American, half British, and the fact that you'd accuse me of being a fake American is just as offensive as telling me that ghosts aren't real. Right. I, I, th I think they're d probably demonic beings. Okay. I find sort I of the, really I, I, I find okay my channel is Chad versus ghosts and I agree I do believe they are in fact demons a force to be reckoned with they need to be shut down but you agree that they are very much a real thing demonic yeah I demonic yeah. yeah demonic uh, just a menace upon society really uh, it's the most important thing to be as a Christian and um, I, I believe that God helps those who, who are in need you know and um, he's, he's helped me a he sure did help me that day at the massage parlor that's for sure I, I wasn't there, so I can't say, so I don't know. Thank God you weren't there. Jesus Christ, that would have really killed the mood. Right. You don't happen to have a history with ghosts, do you, and the paranormal? No, I don't do that. My sister does. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't do that. Oh, a fellow ghost hunter, perhaps. But you have no, you know, past experiences as hauntings or the paranormal at all. No, I'm afraid not. No, what about your little doggy there? No, you, you haven't oh. seen anything, have you, Yumi? Have you seen anything? Have you seen anything? Yes, you might try and bite that. <laughs> Maybe you could tell us some stories that uh, you said your sister or your wife? Who, who, who? Uh, my sister, yeah. She's not here, mate. She's uh, at Warren Towers. Ah, okay. Okay, ghost hunting, perhaps? Yeah, a little bit, mate, yeah. If she's a real ghost hunter, then she'll always be on the hunt. I don't get you seem disengaged in this conversation. You seem like you're thinking, I wish Chad would go away. Yeah. <laughs> All right, mate. Well, have a great night. Uh, yeah. Mate. yeah. Awesome. Let's go this way. Hiya, you two. I don't want to uh, interrupt anything too important. I hope this is a good time. I'm actually uh, running a ghost hunting TV show. I'm the host. Uh, it's called Chad vs. Ghost. I'm Chad, the ghosts of the enemy. I was wondering if you guys have any history with the paranormal, any spooky stories that you want to share with me. Uh, I believe there was a ghost that used to roam in the grounds at Southall Park. Yeah, this place is very haunted. Very haunted. I've been upstairs when I used to do a drama class, and I used to expect to hear something or see something, but nothing ever happened. So, oh, so it was a bit of a letdown. You were, you know, the anticipation was building, but nothing happened. I'd like to see a ghost. Yeah, that would be really great. You know, your ghost story is sort of like. 50 year old men trying to jerk off right it's like they're waiting for it something to happen they're waiting for you know the climax and then it just never comes yeah i know i know he's shocked so uh i've actually got some ghost stories of my own if you want to you know take a minute to listen to them maybe you know give your thoughts on them so it was actually on this property uh i was you know just enjoying a uh, coffee and I, I felt like a force pulling me into the male bathroom I don't know what it was maybe I just needed to urinate I don't know I didn't think much of it so I went there and uh, I just I felt this dark presence leering over me and then boom I'm bent over right so I'm sure you can imagine I'm like what the fuck right I'm thinking Jesus Christ boom my pants are dropped I'm freaking the fuck out at this moment. I'm trying to scream bloody murder, but I can't. It's almost as if there was like something shoved in my mouth, like maybe a cloth or something like that. Rammed in the asshole. Ram! Ram! So I'm being dead ass serious right now. I'm being straight up with you. I got like busted in the ass by Casper the Ghost. He's more friendly than you think. Andy Warhol said everyone's allowed to be famous for 50 minutes. So if this is my 50 minutes, is it? Is this going national? This is going uh, all over the world, buddy. This is not national, universal. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. not real and part of your imagination. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so you're one of the ghosts. You understand I'm a ghost hunter. I'm about to shoot you down. <laughs> I've got a point forty-five in my bag. I'm about to whip it out and blow your uh, brains out if you're a ghost, of course. You've got nothing down there, my man. Oh! <laughs> Nightmares now tonight when I go. Not me, I'm the ghost hunter, sweetheart. Yeah, but you're talking about getting sunk out your backpack hey. and shooting us down. And well, you know, I am a Columbine enthusiast. So. <laughs> what does that mean, yeah. Columbine? Explain to me. The uh, school shooting. You sound American almost. Yeah, so I actually am one of the survivors of Columbine, uh, and you know, it's quite a traumatizing experience. It's kind of what inspired me. Okay. Yeah, I'm serious. Yeah. Uh, so I, I was one of the survivors and uh, that was kind of what inspired me to be a ghost hunter really kind of like uh, In honor of all the people who died to be honest, I, you know, they're all uh, to the other realm now I'm sure a lot more of them are angels than ghosts, but uh Yeah, let's hope so. Let's hope so. So you had any experiences yet with any? Uh, from that day I've had 
quite a few experiences, actually. Yeah, so, for instance, the boys from Columbine have actually been messing with me a little bit, pulling pranks on me from the other realm. Uh, you know, sometimes I get knocks on the doors at uh, 6 in the morning, sometimes 3 in the morning. I'll answer, there'll be nothing but, you know, the little bandana they wore just sitting on my doorstep. Oh, I swear to God, man. I'd freak out. No, yeah. That would freak me out. No, I, I've called the police. They're of no help. And, uh... Things moving in front of you, that kind of stuff, you know. Oh no, that happens all the time. That's become a daily occurrence. In fact, since you're in my presence right now, there is a good chance that maybe that bottle could fall, a pitcher could tilt. This stuff happens all the time. Yeah, we're fine. We're, I'm actually just running a TV show, Chad vs. Ghost. Okay. Um, have you permission to film the house? Uh, do I have permission to film the house? Yeah, from the other realm though, so, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Ask you to leave, I'm afraid. Before we do so, I was just wondering if you have any ghost stories of your own. If you talk to a lot of the staff, they'll have lots of ghost stories, but I'm new, so no ghost stories for me. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Awesome. Oh, are you with that young lady over there? Yes. Yeah, I, th I saw her looking at us. Hi, yeah, babe. She's listening to us talking. No, but who yeah. are you with? Who are you working for? Uh, that's the boss right there. No, we're not together. Babe. I'm the house manager. Babe. Uh, You're breaking up with me right now? All right, that's all. Thank you very much. All right. Nice awesome. Great talking. You've been watching Chad vs. Ghost today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a fucking like, subscribe, leave a comment, and maybe share some ghost stories of your own in the comments. I'd really love to hear them. And I, I'm being serious, guys. No joke comments. I want to see dead-ass serious ghost stories. I'm a ghost hunter, and I take this shit seriously, guys. Thank you very much, have a brilliant night, and I'll see you next Halloween.